you're going to be doing a minotaur maze kind of activity. So what's going to be a minotaur? Do you play a major role? It's a, a very um, a good role because um, you get to do loads of things that not many people get to do. The reason we set up this particular Youth Creative Agent project is to investigate further how that creative agent role can have an impact more directly on the students involved in the project and how it can ideally develop leadership skills and others for those students involved so that they can then become creative agents in their own schools as an, on an ongoing basis. Hey, Scott, what do you think of that? Uh, did you um, remember when I turned the lights off and then I turned it back on? You saw some his face. We had our ideas for our workshop um, with the activities that we arranged with our teacher um, about what's suitable and what's not suitable and what we thought was suitable we sent to Michael and Harina. For King Minos, every 12 years would demand seven young men and seven young women to be sent into the labyrinth to their death to be eaten by the Minos. 28, 29, 30, 30, that's it. It's been quite um, an insight for them to plan the activities and, and carry them through and life skills really is what it's given them. How are you going to use this experience to understand the story more? Like, is it going to help you understand it more? About the minor tools. About the minor tools. It's, it's project management really, that, that really in, in all its phases that they've learned, they're learning about and, and, and handling very well. It helps for us to um, like be leaders and helps for us to think on the spot. I've really seen their confidence grow and their ability to take part in things as a member of a team and to lead. She helped me because I'm not very confident. She does help me with my confidence, like speaking out in front of people. And I helped, like for when I did the assembly, it helped. She's great, you probably learned something. And also, I think I've changed for the better. I'm more confident and I take risks. It's been really is useful as a teacher to recognise that you need to give the children the opportunity to lead other children, to work with other children, to take responsibility. I've done, I've become stronger. <laughs> 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 Organising things um, is a really good thing and it's both in the um, it's in the Youth Creative Agents and also in the um, um, Arts Award as well, so that's something that links up to it. This is what I decided to do for my Arts Audience experience, was going to the... Yeah. Have, yeah? Have, have yeah. You, and you've done that already, haven't you? Yeah, that's... Um... For our Arts Award, um, we've been to Alice in Wonderland, which was part of... Um, I think it was part B, and uh, Be the Audience. I think that the, the thing to say about this is just that it's amazing, your time management. I know that you've you both said that that was a bit tricky with sats and everything and, and just being able to manage this and, and produce such excellent scrapbooks and portfolios whilst you're doing all your normal schoolwork as well is, is brilliant. You should be really proud of yourself. For the Arts Award we we went to Thurrock to see like the big barn that was, re, that was rebuilt. In the workshop, they make the scenes for the ballets and opera in Covent Garden. What was it like seeing it here and then seeing it on stage? It was quite cool. real, like, it didn't seem real when it was in there, but then when we actually saw it on set, it's like, yeah. oh, we saw that. One of the success factors for me for this particular project is the UCA scheme and the Arts Award element of it has been being able to work with a really supportive teacher. Yeah, I was going, um, two of the booklets, the two booklets are going to go in there. Great. Like Alice in Wonderland. And when we went to uh, see Alice in Wonderland in Covent Garden, they were so excited. They absolutely loved the opportunity. And did you enjoy it? Yeah. It was, it was right. breathtaking. It was just like, wow, oh my God. Because I'd never been to a theatre before. And even though they weren't speaking, you understood everything. You saw how much effort they put into it, and then you see it being used on stage, it's, it's, quite, it's quite cool. Just like achieve, like achieve, achieve something. something. I'm like proud of myself, of like actually putting in the effort to do something like this and then at the end of it, um, actually having an award for it and then doing like different ones. They've kind of matured a little bit. They were actually chosen for it rather than them choosing to do it. They, they felt the kind of, um, it was a nice thing for them to actually be chosen. Um, I quite like to learn a bit more about acting. I like acting while talking, like. 
I think it's something that we are planning to continue doing throughout the school on a wider basis. Maybe singing because I like, really like music and different types of music. My mum, my mum's like quite proud and that like, that I've been picked out of the school to do my bronze art award. <laughs>